Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undowns Breakfast with Cthulhu's. All right. Um. So we are parked outside of the uh, Black Tower of Arkin, where I am assuming Arkin the Black is maybe from, or maybe he founded the city. I have no idea. But anyways, we're parked outside and we're about to attack. Now, in our last episode, we did get the the Herald of Joff and the Herald of Zandri. Um, which allows us to get, um, what's it, death blow for our skeleton dudes and, uh, vanguard deployment for our skeleton chariot units, respectively. Um, but I think it's actually gonna take a turn for our thing to actually come into effect. Meaning that I didn't really realize that, and so I think it would actually be best for us to just go ahead and attack these guys right now. Regardless, so we're not going to see the benefits of um, Vanguard deployment and whatnot for our chariots, but I think we should be okay. So we'll attack um, Hakor and Jokt. No, I think we will attack Hakor because Jokt is entombed in the sands, which gives them stock and uh, all that shit, which I don't really want to do. So let's go after Jokt, which will of course draw out the um, guys inside of the. Extinguish their what the fuck? No. Come on. This is forbidden. No, no, no. I don't, I'm not talking about you, buddy. Maybe it's because um, Vanthus isn't close enough. Okay, fine. How about then get in over here? That should be enough for uh, the reinforcement, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now go after Jocked. Yeah. So Jokt is by himself, and so he has to receive reinforcements from these guys, which is fine. Um, and that's looking good. That's looking good. Let's do that. I think... I'm not quite sure how the uh, leadership thing works with, uh, with reinforcements, but if, in fact, the reinforcements, um, the leadership is mostly applied from the... Whoa. Wait a minute. Oh shit, we can- oh, we can do this! Oh, wait, what? I thought, um... We were limited to- oh, damn it! Damn, damn, dammity damn! Shit. I didn't realize that the effect would take immediately. Damn. Okay, well, um, that kind of sucks. Because otherwise I would have had everyone- Shit. And we're also going to be attacked from behind. It's not great, but it's fine. Um, actually, let's have our Tomb Scorpion uh, secure the back, as well as our Skeleton Horseman. Yeah, I think that should be good. Actually, Skeleton Horseman, don't be too close now. Our Chariots, hmm... Actually, maybe it's not such a bad idea to have everyone go after these guys instead. I don't know who's going to be coming in from there. Uh, right, I realize that much, but come on. Could be a little bit more helpful here. Skeleton Horseman, over there is fine. I don't know if I'm really making the full advantage, uh, taking full advantage here. Actually, then, let's have our chariots over on this side. See if we can't gank them as they're coming in from there. You know what? Let's, yeah, get that off my screen. Ushapti, um... Let's have you guys over here. Tomb Scorpion and the Catapult. Catapult, let's actually have you guys over here. And you can attack them as they come in from there, I think. Actually, this might be a better spot, all things considered. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then we'll just have our Nehekaran warriors go after the, uh... Um... The boss dude. Or, we can just have our main crew go after them. Though that might not be the best idea here. Gotta have some support, right? Okay, fine. How about then just uh, Boner Priest and uh, Nezra the Kisser go after their dude, and then we'll have the 
other dudes support this attack here. Yeah, let's do it that way. All right, let's do this. We're waiting on their reinforcements. These guys are coming in hot and heavy with their... Um... Oh, that's the actual big army. Okay. And these are, I'm assuming, just the regular... Um... Whatchamacallit. I forget what they're called. <laughs> oh, nope, not the spearmen. Go after the skeleton warriors instead. And you guys can go after these dudes. Or that one dude, rather. If you can please do that and uh, make his life a lot more difficult, that'd be fantastic. Chariots. Um, sure. Why don't you just completely blast these guys in the ass? Yeah. Let's give them a show. Fantastic. All right, get back, guys. Get back. We're gonna uh, make a take advantage of our chariots as much as possible here. Okay, chariots. You guys need to get in here. Um, skeleton warriors. You're needed back here. Spearmen. Um, I suppose. Ah, oh, shit. This my arm. My reinforcements are coming in from the other side of the map. Crap. Nezra the Kisser is duking it out with this guy. Fantastic. Corner Priest? Actually, you should get stuck in too, buddy. I know you're not really much of a melee fighter, but we might as well at least um, take advantage of you here. Alright, skill and archers. The other ones. Then you guys get back here. And I think we'll have our guys go after them. That's looking good. Oh, do they... Wait, they actually have siege? Guys, ah, damn it! Good grief! If only someone would have told me. If only I'd have known. Ah, crap! There goes our chariots. Guys, I told you to back off. Good grief! Shit! You basically used our chariots as uh, tanks. Ha! Terrible! Absolutely the worst. Good grief! All right, well, um, we're about to lose our siege catapults as well, unless we get them the hell out of there. Troops are rallying, fantastic. Uh, skeleton warriors, can you guys please make your way over here ASAP? Same with you, spearmen. I don't know where you guys are headed right now, but that'd be a good spot. Chariots, please get back. Let's actually have our horsemen go after them now. Alright, so these guys are pretty much dead. Uh, let's have our Nehekaran warriors finish up uh, with these guys. Ushapti are just completely annihilating their siege. Fantastic. Which means that we should now turn our um, archers onto the other dudes. And there goes our damn... Uh, siege guys. Alright, why don't you guys just drop the artillery and just book it. Get the hell out of there. Get out of there! Alright, rest of you guys. I think we've actually managed to destroy their lord. Fantastic. Unit's been wiped out. Not great. Not great at all. But, you know, these things happen. Everyone else just get in there. I think we lost a chariot troop. Which is bad. But not the worst thing in the world. Nehekaran warriors, let's have you guys meet in the front. Yep, there goes another chariot. Well, that sucks. But that's fine. You can always resurrect these dudes, no problem. Where is their other lord? Um, Anyone see their lord? That's King Salek, I think. Yeah, that's the guy. Go after this dude. Go after their king. Uh, excuse me? Skeleton chariot? Who the fuck do you think you are? Direwolves? Go after the uh, skeleton chariot here. Actually, I should have them go after the uh, archers in the back, but you know what? That's it. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, chariots. Let's have you guys actually flank these guys from over here. Um, horse archers are... They're doing it. Or that's a uh, chariot archers. Never mind. Where are you guys? Oh, you're down there. Alright, well. Let's take advantage of you guys there. 
Nekaran Warriors. Make your way up north. Uh, horse Archers. I guess. Continue your attack on the uh, Skeleton Archer Chariots. Sure. And then go after the uh, Nehekarn Warriors here too. Let's have a couple of the uh, Spearmen go after the Ushabti down there. Oh, nope, they're crumbling. So maybe we don't need to. Yeah. Dire Wolves, please go after their infantry or their archers as much as possible here. And Chariots, can you guys please just... Come on, just plow through them. In the most sexual of ways. Go after the Anehekan warriors right there. Alright. So far, so good. Taking some losses. But for the most part, I think we're alright. Uh, let's not forget to... Do a little bit of this. Get some TLC for our troops. And just tear ass. Where is their lord? Where is your lord and master? That's not him. Oops, I just clicked. Like an idiot. Of course. Chariots, please go after their archers. Thank you very much. Don't worry about their chariots. They're crumbling. Uh, archers, let's have you guys kind of regroup back here. If you don't mind. Nehekaran Warriors, if you're not doing something, you're doing it wrong. Okay? Uh, same with you. Basically, that's our policy for everyone. If you ain't doing nothing... You're doing it wrong. That's including you two scorpions. Come on, man. Everyone looks up to you. Ripped ghouls, get in there, start uh, tearing ass of the uh, skeleton spearmen. All right. Apparently, our skeleton horse archers have completely used up their um, ammo. So let's just have you guys charge these dudes instead. Fantastic. That should just completely annihilate them. They're crumbling and all that crap, so... That's fine. Um, you guys are almost depleted with your uh, ammunition as well. Cool beans. Dire wolves are about to die, but who gives a rat's ass? Um, chariot archers. And actually, chariots. Unit's been wiped out. Dire wolves. Again, it's fine. Tube scorpion, please get in there a little faster. Um, where is one of our lords? Where is Boner Priest? Is he dead? I forgot to use our, um, summonable Ushabti. Um, our Boner Priest is apparently dead. Hopefully not dead dead, but he has been, um... Well, blasted in the ass. Victory. No, he's dead. I don't know if we can actually bring him back. I'm hoping he's just wounded and not dead. Um, oops. So we lost a couple of chariots, we lost Boner Priest, and we lost a dire wolf. A sacrifice to Nagash. Harvest organs, please. Uh, so what happened to? Boner Priest is dead. Fantastic. Well, there goes your legacy, my friend. Shit. Oh my goodness. Damn it. <laughs> Kill them. Really? We lost our Screaming Skull Catapult? Oh man, I shouldn't have done that. Unfucking believable. Wow. What ass. Jeez. Alright, well, let's sack it. Great. So, um, Ark in the Black became a looter. And then let's occupy it. Fantastic. So there goes the Rakoff Dynasty. Perfect. Well, I mean, it's not really all that perfect. We did lose the lose a boner priest. Didn't actually expect him to die. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but oh well. Okay, so um, instead of having the bone shaper here, we should build it over here and then have the quicksand swamp in our black tower of Arkan. I think. Let's do that. Let's switch it around. We'll break that down, and then we'll also increase the uh, growth. Uh, in there 
And I think we should probably build the crypt barracks. This is most likely going to be our front line for the next little while, I think, since we're going to be uh, attacking the Black Pyramid of Nagash, owned by the the Sentinels, as well as the Camry, who I think are situated somewhere around these parts. Maybe. Submit to your king. Mantis, how you doing, buddy? Trust it in life. Um, he's a little sad because we lost our boner priest. But uh, otherwise, elated that he got uh, upgraded his Conqueror Nagash stuff. Commands. Arkin, um, let's go with your Skeleton Chariot. Nice. Fantastic. And we should look into... Yeah. Kind of replenishing your losses here. Start with the uh, Screaming Skull Catapult, which helps us out immensely with sieges. And I think we'll go with a couple more skeleton chariots. Although, is four too much? I don't know. We do have the uh, Vanguard skeleton chariot deployment, which I think is awesome. And then let's go with some carrion as well. Oh, wait. We don't need to do that globally? Oh, I guess we don't. Cool. Cool beans. Vanthus, you are also in need of a little bit of a replenishment here. Although I'm not quite sure what to give you. So how about we just let you chillax for the time being. Why don't you go into... Uh, entombed beneath the sands? Can't. Because you've already moved. Alright, that's fine. Rakash. Um... Let's have you start making your way over. Before you go, though, do that, and then let's have you start... Come on. Come on, Rakash. Let's do this properly. There you go. You're going to help us out with the uh, attack on the Black Pyramid of uh, Nagash, and also the capturing of various other territories. But before we proceed, um, we should probably bring another Lich Priest back into our fold here. Okay. Oh, I see. We can get different ones. Nehekaran, what does that do? Or Shadow Lich Priest. There's a Light Lich Priest, really? Um, can we get like a breakdown of the spells and shit? Damn it. I did like the death. I think they, um, they, they provide a little more damage and whatnot. Hmm. But, I don't know. Tough? Fleet-footed? Ooh. Hmm. I guess best thing to do would be to just try this out and see how they, uh, perform. Let's do it. Let's get, uh, someone who's tough this time. Looking at you, uh, boner priest. Um, did you just say 420s... Gout? What the fuck is a 420 gout? As loyal as I. Okay, so Joff's Incantation of Cursed Blades. Right. Which gives... Weapon damage, armor piercing, bonus versus large. What is this? Resurrects dead combatants. Ah, nice. And that's a constant aura thing. Physical resistance. That is missile damage. Causes damage. Sweet. And weak versus... Okay, so it's better versus uh, bigger dudes. Okay, I see. So it reduces their speed. I think that's the uh, biggest thing. That's a curse. That is... Incantation of the Skull Storm. Strong versus multiple units. Cool. Alright, well, this doesn't look too bad. The Nehekaran uh, Priest doesn't look too bad at all. We'll try to get the other ones as well, but I think we need to um, research new com uh, not commandments, but new um, dynasties for that. Okay, so for here, um, I'd say let's go with growth, because I don't think we need to worry too much about the public order. I think this is all just kind of temporary, um, so let's just go with growth. Besides, it's already in the positive, so it's got a long way to fall before uh, we need to worry. 
we can get a couple of armors. Really? The armor of the ages. Ah. Except we don't have a lot of canopic jars right now, so we'll just hold off on that for now. Alright, that's good. That's good. It's not ideal. It's not perfect. But it's what we have. Definitely made some mistakes in that fight. As evidenced by the death of um, Boner Priest. Okay. Sure thing. That's how you guys want uh, how you guys want to live your lives. Military Alliance. Um No. No. I um I would rather not. Cause you guys kinda seem like you're stuck in a rock in a hard place. Iborn of Kemri, former King Rakash. Great. Kinda wondering if maybe we should get some more regiments of renown. The flock of Joff. Which actually turned out to be pretty awesome last time we had them. Maybe we'll just undo this and then get the flock of Joff. Actually, we should look into maybe we'll give the flock of Joff to Vanthus instead. Um, I don't want to have all of our dudes in just one uh, all of our best dudes in just one army. And then we'll get the Blessed region of fucked. 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 Fine, whatever. <laughs> um, poison attacks. Ooh. I suppose we should. We should have at least a couple of spearmen. Hmm. So that we have the anti large. Maybe we have way too many, uh, other dudes. Damn it. That's fine. Um, Rakash, I'm actually going to have you move uh, up over he towards the uh, the Bretonians up there. That's fine. And then, can we... Do we stand a chance against these guys? They've got Tomb Guards. Tomb Guards with Halberds. Shabti. Well... I think we could probably take them on, but let's wait until Ark in the Black has a full regiment here. Armor Sundering. Wow. Okay, you know what? That sounds good. Let's get these guys. We really should have more spearmen in that army. Maybe we should do a switcheroo. Hmm. But then they already have their uh, missile chariots too. Damn it. Fuck. Oh well. It's fine. We can get an act right. The incantation of Kassar, which right does the whole sandstorm thing. Let's not worry about that right now. Vanthus, let's have you just be entombed beneath the sands. And I guess we can't really recruit anyone. No. Because we don't have a space. Not that I think we really need to. Yeah, we already have everyone that we can possibly... Everyone that's worth it that we can possibly muster. Alright, uh... Boner Priest. Or not Boner Priest, you are a different priest. Glitch Priest of Nakara. You, uh, you might be able to run a little faster if you don't shuffle your feet so much. Lift. Lift your back foot, buddy. You'll be fine. Settlement upgrade. I suppose. Or we can upgrade that. Or upgrade that. I think we can only probably upgrade one thing. Because we don't really have the money for anything else. Landmark. The Black Tower of Arkin. The Lich King proselytizes his master. Um, the Gash. His black tower just juts skyward, a declaration of his dark and cruel intent. Is that the black tower of Arkin? Is that uh, what he's talking about? What does it do exactly? Canopic jars generated, 10. Fantastic public order, plus 2 faction-wide. Wow. Tax rate, plus 5 faction-wide. That's incredible. An army ability, legionary barrage, local, local armies, and also provides a garrison. Sweet! What else can we upgrade? 
but sure, I suppose we should upgrade Martech. That sounds good. All right, so next turn, let's look into attacking the uh, Sentinels. I think it would be best if we brought in the guy that was kind of headed up north, considering that they appear to be kind of reinforcing at a ra ra rather rapid rate here. Okay, they've just buggered off. Kind of leaving themselves a little open. Uh-oh. Land of the Dervishes. Oh, shit. I didn't realize that it had gotten so bad here. Um. Actually, why don't you just chillax here, Rakash? Because it seems like there's an imminent rebellion. So we'll let the rebellion happen. We'll attack their army. And I think we should be able to harvest their uh, organs from the ensuing fight. Is my thinking, at least. Without interference, what is this? Own four provinces. We will. Just give us a second here. Why is that... Damaged? Oh. Huh. Interesting. Is this a good idea to attack now? To your king. Imminent Rebellion. Yeah, whatever. Gonna cite skill points, Nezra the Kisser. Let's give you your skeleton chariot, buddy. Fantastic. And I think we are ready to rumble. Possibly. Yeah. Um, Rakash is dealing with the Rebellion, hopefully. And otherwise... I don't know if we're ready. These guys look pretty tough, but I think it's the best that we can do right now. They are stronger than the uh, Camry, but not by a whole lot. Robert Baron? Excuse me? I declare war on your, on your dick, asshole. Robber Baron. I don't know if they're going to get reinforced by that army there. So... This could be really good? Or... Ah. Oh, that's a settlement garrison. Ah, shit. Damn, that's gonna be a painful fight. Well, if we don't attack them now, unfortunately, these guys are going to come in for reinforcements, which isn't great. Um, I don't know. I've never fight, fought the Tomb Guards before. Armored and shielded anti-infantry. Seems like the balance of power is kind of not really in my favor, as far as I can tell. Um... What if we stay here, right? Oh no, what have I done? Fuck, I meant to just continue the siege. Oh man. Well, thankfully we have a few monsters that are able to take down the, uh, the gates and shit. Right, I think that's good. Um, siege weapons, go ahead, that's fine. Let's just organize everyone. Oh no, our reinforcements are coming in from here. Well, if that's the case, then why don't we set up our army here? That way the reinforcements can come in uh, and help us out, like, you know, right quick and all that shit. Archers. Might have you guys move in a little bit afterwards. Vanguard deployment available? No, right? No, it's the chariots that are vanguard deployment. Well, the chariots in this fight aren't really all that helpful. Why we'll the skeleton horsemen um, help us out here, though? They should be able to, uh, I think, kind of like go back and forth and attack the guys on the walls. Carrion. You guys should be somewhat useful. And uh, Tomb Scorpion as well. Shopti. Actually, you guys are going to going to be attacking the walls, uh, uh, the gate with the uh, skeletons, so. And that's these guys. Fortunately, on only one regiment of spearmen, which I'm not really digging. 
That's good. And what about you guys? That's good. Okay, well, we might take a lot of casualties here, but I'm think hoping that, um... Holy shit! Wow! That is... Amazing! Holy shit! <laughs> okay, well, um... Let's take a break here. We'll uh, come back tomorrow to actually attack the uh, the place here, and then we'll see how things go. Unfortunately, we did lose our boner priest, but uh, it's fine. I mean, if we really want to, we'll, we can bring him back, but we'll see. All right, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.